Hey guys, uh, in this video we will uh, go and discuss how we can so hide a section in InfoPath form using custom rules. Uh, you will get a lot of business requirement where you based on certain condition you might need to show or hide a section. Uh, so we will see how we can uh, do that in, in InfoPath 2013 using rules. Yeah, I know InfoPath is um, uh, 2013 is the latest person uh, and Microsoft already declared that there will be no new info path uh, after this and uh, we should see already a new uh, alternative to info path uh, by this time uh, but still if you are using uh, info path then it might be helpful to you let me tell something about njsharpon.com uh, uh, if you have not subscribed yet to our youtube channel kindly go on and sub subscribe to our youtube channel you will get a lot of video updates uh, by, uh, by by that uh, also, if you want to contribute to enjoysharepoint.com, then uh, kindly send your articles uh, in word format with your images, if any, and then uh, to contact at the and then we will publish the article on your name. Uh, make sure uh, you will uh, not send any copy content, it should be your own content. And also uh, like us in Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn uh, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will put all the useful links over there in the comment section of the video. You will get uh, uh, all these uh, links, useful links over there. So now let's go and uh, uh, open our info path form. So here if I will tell you uh, I have a drop down list, I have a comment box. Uh, in the drop down list uh, if I will show you there are three values are there. One thing is agree, disagree and cannot say. If you are choosing disagree then you have to give a comments over there so that is the requirement um, now if i will uh, uh, just uh, preview this form you can see here every time it is uh, showing this comment box but i want only if uh, you choose disagree then uh, the form should uh, the uh, comment box should appear so i have put that inside a uh, section the comment box uh, so I'll write a rule over there, select the com uh, section and then you can see here manage rule and then you will say new uh, formatting rule and uh, I'll, I will give a uh, mini poll name rule to so, so hide uh, comment and uh, then we'll say hide control. Now we'll put the condition. So the condition is if uh, the field name is response if response is not equal to uh, disagree and then uh, it should hide it uh, let me just uh, confirm once again what is the value yes correct is uh, disagree question mark i'll copy and uh, in the rule i'll just modify it uh, it's, it's correct only um, so now let's preview the form you can see here I'll preview the form now you can see here it is uh, the comment uh, box is not appearing if I'll say agree it will not appear only if I'll choose disagree it will appear and then if I'll say cannot say it will not also not appear so only in, in disagree condition uh, you will get the comment session hopefully this video will be helpful to you uh, you can uh, write some uh, according to your uh, if you have any requirement you can write this kind of rules to show and hide a section uh, thank you very much for watching this video and uh, we'll come up with new videos every week so kindly subscribe to our youtube channel um, i'll put the links in the comment section over there uh, thank you very much for watching the video thank you